step forward and you start talking about operational business intelligence, well, you know, that's the next step in, in BI. It's the next place that we're all going, and I think that um, you know, companies like Teradata are enabling that, and you, and you have to be able to take that next step forward and extend business intelligence well beyond just simple reporting. It has to become embedded in the business. It has to become actionable in operational business intelligence. With traditional BI, it's very data-centric, it's data-driven. Here it's very tied to specific business process. We're looking for much more responsiveness from the business viewpoint, and therefore the business intelligence has to be part of the business, the fundamental business process. Teradata has evolved with this, they've got a lot of experience, and I think with the number of large customers Teradata has, it's beginning to see those problems, and it's developed its technology. Well, active enterprise intelligence, pervasive BI, all those things, they are coming to fruition right now. They should be driven by a business value statement, by a return on investment. And it turns out that the technology is already there, it's already stable, it's already mature. So the real issue here is not technology, but visionary people who can grasp new ways to be competitive and make money. Teradata is always focused on enterprise-wide capture and use of information. So what's new is active means more real-time data collection. Then what you want to do is use the information, transform the raw data into insight. So it could be that you've just bought something on the web. The last thing that they should do is send you a direct mail piece, especially at a lower price for something that you just bought. So what we want by having an enterprise view of the data to take a look at the different customer activities, could be interactions, could be transactions, and then transform that into insights which can then be deployed consistently through all the touch points in the company. The real capability here is putting analytic information into hundreds of locations, thousands of operational business processes, so the rank and file employee can be smarter in what they do. I think Teradata has always been an innovator and a leader in this space, and I think that some of the changes and some of the uh, directions that they're going right now um, are bringing uh, Teradata even more so or cementing you further into that space. It's not just strategic intelligence in the back office, but it's now operational intelligence. So it could be that the bank teller knows that you're in the process of applying for a loan or that it's your birthday or that you need to come in for wealth management planning. And so all of the touch points, that kind of information could also appear on the web. So an ad to come in for wealth planning might be part of uh, some of the insights that are discovered by the back office. Maybe you made an ultra-large deposit and it's sitting there in a non-interest-bearing account. An active enterprise intelligence system driven by Teradata would notice that and then cause the front-end systems to wake up to that fact and take some appropriate action. I think that by the very virtue of the way Teradata operates, they are always an innovator, and, and that is because it's their number one focus is to make data warehouses better. Best practices and tips tend to be focused on Teradata only, and the reason for that is that competitors either can't do it at all, or they will load data into an interim database called an operational data store. So they proliferate these separate databases because their production data warehouse cannot take the data in in real time. Trend number one would be these front-end systems get a lot smarter because of the back-end intelligence. Now to make it happen, the second big trend is you've got to get the information in faster. We call that active load. So instead of batching up the information, loading it maybe hourly or daily, we can trickle feed it into the system. I think we're probably three to four years ahead of most of the competitors in what we're doing. I think the advantage Teradata has, they've been in this field a long time, um, and therefore they, they understand it. And I think, you know, to be quite frank, sometimes, you know, people view Teradata as a, as a, as a really um, a piece of hardware that runs a database system. Sitting on top of that is a lot of experience, a lot of applications, a lot of experience. And, and that's what they bring to the market, I think, is experience in this field. Most people, once they get the concept, I mean, how can you be against multi-channel coordination? How can you be against the idea of your people looking like wizards and having deep insights about customers that the competitors people don't have?